everyone, Edie here. Okay, I got asked this question by Mark from Texas. And um, he said he was dancing with this super, super duper professional, worldwide, incredible, amazing salsetta that was visiting Texas. And um, he took her out to the floor to dance and he couldn't even lead her. She was either off in her own world or something. He said when he tried to lead her, she wouldn't move. He was dancing on one, and I know for a fact that she's a dan an on two dancer. And he said that he tried the best he could to make the best of the situation, but she still kind of just wanted to do her own thing. And he said that she was nothing like what he saw in the videos of her. And um, so he tried to lead her again, and I guess he got through three quarters of the song, and he saw a friend of his who is a, also a professional dancer. I've danced with him, in fact, I've performed with him, um, and I've taught with him, etc. I know exactly who he is, I won't mention names though. So he asked him to cut in and take over. And even this professional dancer had a hard time leading her. And I was like going, really? And then when he told me who it was, I was kind of shocked. And so I was, um, She's an incredible musicalist, okay? Hits the hits and the breaks and the music, everything. And I was thinking that maybe she was having a bad night. It could be many things. She could have been wanting to dance on two, and since they danced on one, she kind of got copped an attitude, which I've done in the past before. If I'm tired, if um, I'm bitchy, if it's that time of the month, PMSing, whatever, you know, if something didn't go exactly the way I wanted it or whatever, I became super bitch. And that has happened to me, honestly, in the past, and I really regret it now. Because you never know who you're going to be dancing with or who's going to Facebook or email somebody else about it. And um, that could have happened. She could have been waiting for you to hit the hits and the breaks and the music. And if you missed all those incredible hits and you didn't even realize it, and she's a true musicalist at heart, she's like ultra disappointed, you know? I have some musicality DVDs at, mu at uh, dancefreak.com. If you click on the DVD button and look at for the DVDs, it says musicality on there so that you can understand how to, how to hit the hits and breaks. I also teach workshops on it. It's really good. Now, I'm not making excuses for her, okay? I'm just trying to figure out what the hell happened. So these, both of these men had a hell of a time leading this woman. And yet she's probably one of the top followers, followers in the world, one of the top musicalists in the world. And um, she couldn't dance with them. And I know that the songs in Europe, or the DJs of Europe, really, really throw down. I mean, they've got some music that just blows anybody away out there. She spends a lot of time in Europe and maybe coming back to the United States where half the time it's bachata and half the time it's merengue and half the time it's anything but salsa. And then when a salsa does come on, if you're a true salsero, you're like so freaking picky about your salsa too. So it's like everything is against you at this point. I've been to a, to a, a Congress where literally um, 30 percent of it was house music the other 30 percent was bachata merengue and then um, 20 percent was cha-cha and maybe 10 percent am I running out of percents here was salsa right and they, they call themselves a salsa congress right just doesn't make sense and so when you know even if we don't like on two or on one or if we have certain songs that you know we like on one and then on two you know, it can be a real pain in the ass. Dancers can be a pain in the ass when they're into good music. When they're good dancers, okay, good dancers are a pain in the ass. Bottom line, right? Because they like to dance with certain music, they like to dance with a certain timing, they like to hit certain hits and breaks in the music and you have to do it exactly. Perfect, right? So yes, she was probably just being herself Meaning she is used to dancing with world-class dancers 
top level leads, right? And all of a sudden she gets to somewhere in Texas where the leads are probably very few and far between. I'm just saying, I don't know, maybe. And um, compared to like what she's used to at a Congress every, every week in Europe. And um, she was probably tired, you know, got off the plane, whatever. But that's no excuse. She should still be always polite, always loving, always caring, and always looking after the man. Meaning, wait, wait, ladies, I always tell you, the man is the most important thing in the dance, okay? He is your number one. You should be looking at him, you should be focusing on him, you should be following him to the nth detail, styling, making yourself and him look beautiful, because it's the woman's job to make him look good. And if you don't make him look good, he's gonna go elsewhere, he's gonna dump you, whatever. He's gonna talk shit about you. He's gonna write shit about you on email, Facebook, whatever. So you better watch your ass out there, you know? Especially you professionals out there who think your shit doesn't stink, who think that you're all that, right? And you're really not. Um, so, Yes, the man is the most important thing in this dance. And I tell the men that the woman is the most important thing in this dance. You are there to make her feel good. Because when a woman feels good, what happens? She smiles. She loves you. And when the man sees a woman having an awesome time, the men around her look at the guy as some sort of god and say, gosh, really? How did you make her smile so much? What did you do to make her so happy, right? I want to do that. It's because he made her feel good and he didn't put her into a thousand turn patterns from hell where her face ended up in his armpit half the time, you know? Sometimes you just gotta lay off on all your moves, guys, and just seduce her, you know? Dance sexy with her. Just make her feel like she's a, a queen princess because it's not all about patterns 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 those are pattern pricks it's not all about moves 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 those are move mongers it's not all about combos 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 those are combo creeps okay you want to dance musically to the song right those are memories right the musicalists create memories for a woman and you want her, when she goes to bed at night and she lands her head on that pillow, you want to be the last man she thinks about before she drifts off to sleep. And the only way you can do that is with musicality. Hitting the hits and the breaks, hits and breaks in the music and forgetting about all these turn patterns, okay? Anyway, this is Edie the Salsa Freak signing out. Um, to this woman, I think you know who you are. You know, I love you, girl, but you know, watch your watch yourself out there. No matter how tired you are, you gotta still please your man. Okay? Alright, see you guys later. Keep dancing.